Melanoma. It is one of the most common cancers in adolescents and young adults, and early detection is absolutely key to beating it. There's a foundation right here in Maryland that is working to make early detection more accessible, and we're joined now by Marianne Bannister. She's here with us. Hi, Marianne, the co-founder, the CEO of the Claire Marie Foundation, and Marianne is Claire's mom. This is extremely personal for you, Marianne. Tell us about Claire and why you formed this foundation. Well, hi, Denise, and thank you for the time. And that last part of my title, that is the most important, always Claire's mom. The reason we started this um, in 2014, so it's almost nine years this fall, uh, is when we lost Claire. She was 17 years old, a senior at Notre Dame Prep, had the world in front of her, ready to go off to college, accepted to study, and melanoma took her life. And she was diagnosed at 14 for a reason that we had no idea about. Hers was hormonally related. It was a result of changes in puberty. We had no idea that could happen. We subsequently found out that women can develop it while they're pregnant, and uh, people have it for reasons due to other things in the sun. That's the primary cause for everyone, of course, and UV damage is so bad right now. It's intense. But for young people, they have a genetic component, as we all do for all cancers. We can or cannot. But also, if you put their hormones into it and their cells are cooking and everything's moving, it just accelerates the risk. So when you look at it, diagnosis is up 253% in 13 to 29 year olds in the last 40 years. It's the number two cancer in adolescents, the number one in young adults, and the number one cause of cancer death in young women, 25 to 30. So the question begs why? We don't have that answer. But what we try to do is empower people to prevent this disease because it's one of the very most preventable cancers. And of course, you wear sunscreen and UPF 50, and, and we talk about all those factors through our foundation. But the really important thing is to get your skin checked at least once a year. And it can take five months to get into a dermatologist. And if you're a young person, then you're at the back of the line because still medicine, a lot of people in medicine do not realize that kids can get it. So what we do is we offer a free screening access. It's the Claire Marie Foundation Free Skin Screening Program. We team with top-notch dermatologists. They open their doors. They bring in their staff. You get a head-to-toe screening with a scope that finds anything at the earliest onset. It's called a, a dermatoscope or dermoscopy. And we have screened almost 1,400 young people, and we have found 16% have needed to have biopsies for wow. suspicions of melanoma in that time. Wow, it's so important. You said free. I think this is important. We stress to everyone out there, these are free screenings. Most Absolutely. parents, I didn't know to look at their children and look for, you know, tiny moles or any signs of melanoma. You need a professional. So this is a vital service that you're providing. So I know really they're coming is. up this month, right? So right, exactly. First one's a week from Saturday, February 11th. It's SES Physicians in Lutherville. And then we have another one on February 25th, another Saturday. That's at Mercy, but also at their Lutherville location. And then in March 11th, we have at Belcara Health in um, down in, in Baltimore. And then we uh, are working with Johns Hopkins to finalize the details on their screening because they always give us one every year. So there's at least three, another one coming up. It takes 10 minutes. It's get it done before spring break, get it before school schedule gets crazy with all the proms and the dances and everything, and you get screened head to toe, you know you're good to go, we're there, we give you a takeaway bag with all sorts of fun things, you learn a little bit about how to stay sun safe and live your best life, it's real easy stuff. All right, and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, can not at all. See you. Not at all. Thank you, Marianne, it's a wonderful service that you're providing uh, with your uh, Claire's Foundation, we thank you so much for joining us, and again, you didn't have to remember everything she just said, the information about the full body skin screenings, the first one, Saturday, February 11th, but all of the other details details she just mentioned, they're posted on our website, wjz.com. Go. It's free. Take your children. You'll feel better.